But speaking of movies that are not bad, what is Nux tracking? <laughs> <laughs> I can never tell if you're being... No, th- I, actually, that was non-sarcastic. I apologize. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so next up we've got Unleashed from 2005, starring Jet Li. It's about a man enslaved by the mob since childhood, and he's raised into behaving like a human attack dog. So he basically just attacks people when they haven't paid their debts. (laughs) So during an attack, he escapes um, his so-called surrogate family, and attempts to start a new life until it all kind of catches back up to him. So, I originally saw this movie at the theatres when it first came out. This is a pretty simple movie, but it's still quite different to a lot of other movies out there. And I, I, I quite enjoy it as well. I think it's got some cool action sequences, and, you know, the fight scenes are pretty awesome for for the ones that we get to see, and... It's got a bit of an emotional touch to it as well, if if that does anything for anyone out there. Yeah, no, I thought I thought it was an entertaining movie from start to finish. When the movie started out, I thought it was um, a very um, different setup. And I, I was leaning to disliking it from the beginning, because of the whole idea of like a, a human attack dog who is much more animal than... Well, I, I, I know that humans are attacking animals, but much more dog-like than he is human. Just, you know, just didn't feel right. But I will say once um the movie got going, I was pleasantly surprised. And on a side note, I had no idea Morgan Freeman was in this. <laughs> I didn't even see his name in, like, the beginning credits. I just saw his face when he popped. I'm like, oh, hey, that's Morgan Freeman. So the movie <laughs> went up, like, six points. So... I know, I, I really I really like the um the main cast. Uh, Morgan Freeman, uh, Jack Lee... And that one chick whose name I forget, but um, and even like the um the Marbles guy, he was um pretty entertaining. So I don't know, the movie was different, but I thought it had pretty good action. I thought it had a pretty good emotional impact. I thought Morgan Freeman and the other the, the that one chick did a lot to help that um along. And that one one of my favorite fighting sequences in this movie is that one. I forget, it was in a very small enclosed space. I forget what that space was off the top of my head. It's like a hallway or a bathroom or something. Yeah, that, that was like such a, a tight space, but that was a really, I mean, that whole sequence you know, was fantastic, but that, that fight right there, that was just fun, some fun stuff. So I enjoyed this um, a lot more by the end than I thought I was going to. And a shout out to the director for having it be not as bleak as an ending as some people might think. Hmm. I thought it was kind of amusing how the uh the the mob guys or whatever whatever you want to call them, both times, or at least twice in the movie, they have like a severe car accident. <laughs> they have no luck. Yeah. I mean, the f- earlier in the movie, they get smashed by this huge truck and then you know shot at and then. Later on, the car flips, and I am surprised that guy lived. By the way, <laughs> yeah, and he's just, he's a, he's always like making it out alive. I mean, this is the luckiest guy ever. <laughs> I I, w- I was somewhat um surprised there wasn't a scene of what's her name trying to seduce Jot Lee. I, like I felt like it was leading up to that, but it never quite happened. Could have been a whole different movie. There was one thing I wanted you throw in. Oh yeah, the um the whole like um underground fighting ring type thing, um <laughs> that one fight where they're just throwing in all those like bladed weapons and stuff, and he's just like beating the shit out of all of them. That was um that was a lot of fun, and so it's like you say this movie um even though it sort of starts out you know maybe not the best, but I, I the fighting sequences and fantastic and it never really, I mean it slows down sometimes, but I would say it probably never really gets born. Now, I actually, I had I had no idea what this movie was when you suggested it. I've never heard of it. This is quite possibly the only Jet Li movie I've ever seen in my life. So, I, I you know, I didn't necessarily know what to expect out of it. But I was, you know, I was pleasantly surprised. So, especially for, like, a random action movie from, like, the mid-2000s. I have to imagine. Now, I, I, I See, it's, from my perspective, I haven't seen many of them. So, I just imagine most of them are, like, sad power. But, you know, this was, um you know, I thought, I don't know, I, I had a nice mixture of action and some emotional sequences, so there's really a lot going for this one. 
8 out of 10 A minus B plus movie <laughs> okay I give it the same thing 8 out of 10 I really enjoy it cool fight scenes you know it's it's pretty entertaining from start to finish like it, it slows down a little bit at certain points but not to the point where it becomes uninteresting it's it's always interesting and you know eventually it works back in some action if if that's all you're in there for you know there's action at the start there's action at the end maybe maybe just in the middle if if the story or emotional parts aren't doing anything for you that's that's where it might drag a little bit no i mean for me start to finish good movie Plus, it teaches you how to eat ice cream, so. <laughs> yes.